It's said to be a good idea to keep the display timeout at a short setting to save battery, right? But you too have probably experienced the frustration when you were trying to read something at a short setting like this. The screen keeps going blank on you. You turn it back on to read a few more lines and it turns off again. So here is my solution. It's actually on the screen. Rion Extra Time. This little app actually encourages you to set the screen timeout to a low value. I'm going to keep it on 20 seconds now and enable the function of this app. And it will elongate the screen timeout when you turn the screen back on after it went black. So here we go. I will try to read something again. And just like before, after a few seconds, it's going to go blank. But at that time, I'm going to press the power button to turn it back on again. And this time, you will see a little note come up on the screen at Toast, at the lower part of the screen here, which says extra time. We got extra time now. Actually, by default, 90 seconds were added to the screen timeout, which should be plenty to read a screen full of information. This new extended display timeout setting will be kept until the next time you turn off the screen. We know Samsung phones have a solution of their own, which they call Smart Stay, and it works by using the front-facing camera to look at your face, and if it detects that you're looking at the screen, it's not going to turn off uh, the screen. But it doesn't work when there is not enough light. So I added another function into extra time and I call it smarter stay. You can set a minimum light level under which if there is not enough ambient light for smart stay to work, it will also extend the screen timeout. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to turn off the screen now and you can see the light level was below that certain value. So when I turn on the screen now, you will see it shows me extra time was added because smart stay might not work properly due to the low amount of light.